Welcome everyone to today's tutorial about uh, Omnidance project of crop image segmentation with drone data for a mobile application. My name is Mohanad and I am the product owner of that project and our partner is Drone AG. So the aim of that project is to build a new machine learning segmentation model and that model extracts insights about crops such as health, type and area coverage. The project results are implemented by England-based startup Drone AG's flagship product, Skippy Scout, which is a mobile application that automates the flight of a drone to capture the images. So let's start with explaining the project pipeline. So the project pipeline is built based on two facts. First fact is we need to do a <coughs> segmentation of the input images. And also based on another fact that we didn't have uh, any labeled data from the partner. So we need to work uh, on two parallel uh, paths. The first path was uh, building unsupervised segmentation model and after that image processing module in order to do post-processing. And the second path is to label the, 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 the data and after that training a semantic segmentation model. So for supervised segmentation, we have delivered a Docker container for predicting stage one images. So basically uh, we have uh, different stages of crops. We predicted the first growth, growth stage and we have delivered three benchmarking models for different labeling systems. Uh, so basically we can train three labels, five labels and even nine labels by se segregating and aggregating the labels. And those benchmarking models are trainable, which ensures continuous training journey in the future. After that, we have also worked on unsupervised segmentation approach, and we delivered a Docker container for protecting the crop coverage area. So we see here, for example, an input image from stage one, this is the first growth stage. We see the first thing we have here is the FC mask, which is the output of the unsupervised segmentation. And after that, we have a post-processing step using image processing in order to determine uh, the crop color or the color that it is related to the crop. So uh, this basically were uh, the deliverables in brief. Uh, I want to thank the team who have worked hard in order to make uh, that happen. And I would like to thank you as well for your time watching this demo. Thank you so much.